Welcome back to Lightning Problem Solving. Today we're going to discuss a hot topic in the manufacturing world, and that is, what is lean manufacturing? You'll hear a couple other terms out there, which is basically the same concept. Lean production, or TPS, which is Toyota Production System. Toyota is an interesting company because by implementing lean manufacturing, they were able to grow to be the largest automotive manufacturer in the world. So, what is lean manufacturing? Lean manufacturing is simply waste elimination, improving your cycle efficiency, and improvising your process flow. Wait, stop right there. Did anyone hear what I just said? A huge mistake that many companies have is they let their employees choose which process seems the best for them. You need to be improving your process flow, not improvising. To be lean, you have to have standardized work, you have to be continuously improving your scheduling, and you have to have control charts. Let's break lean manufacturing down into three principles. Number one, minimize waste. If you want more details on scrap reduction, I have a whole video devoted to that. Check it out. Simply put, look at your processes and determine what's value added and what's non-value added and try to eliminate the non-value added processes. The next principle in lean manufacturing is just in time delivery. Basically what this means is you have the right part at the right time and work to reduce the inventory. Perfect the process flow so it's efficient as possible. And only build what is ordered. This alone will save you a fortune in resources because you're not keeping warehouses full of parts you don't need yet and you're not building things that people have not asked for yet. Some other terms you may hear for this is one piece flow and pull instead of push. The third principle of lean manufacturing is continuous improvement. This is where you have cultural transformation and everybody in the plant becomes a quality inspector. What this means is nobody should ever take a part that does not meet quality standards. Every operator should say to themselves, I will not take a part that does not meet quality standards. So if a bad part is found, not only is the operator that made the defective part responsible, but also the operator that accepted the defective part. Your manufacturing facility has to have accountability. Another term to mention now is Six Sigma. Six Sigma is a statistical problem solving method. So if you combine Six Sigma with lean manufacturing, you get lean Six Sigma. Lean manufacturing is awesome. But what I do hear a lot of complaints about is the lean Six Sigma way of solving problems. Six Sigma does get results but usually those results are very slow in coming. In my experience, even though I'm a lean Six Sigma master black belt, I don't even tell people I'm a lean Six Sigma problem solver because the process is just too slow. So many people that I've worked with are tired of the slow way that Six Sigma gets results. But lightning problem solving methods mesh really well with lean manufacturing because most companies don't have unlimited time and resources to work the same projects months on end. Stay with me and I will help you ease through projects lightning fast and maximize your company's profits. Also, check out my video on how to solve a manufacturing problem in just three short days if you're curious to learn more. So in summary, a lean manufacturing plant will have shorter lead times, cost savings, and highest quality. Here's an example. When you're looking for a way to increase your company's profits, would you rather spend $6 million on new equipment in the hopes of getting ahead? Or like a lean-minded manager, would you prefer to reduce scrap by 25% to see the same projected increase in overall profit margins guaranteed? When I go into a plant with a lean mentality, I only plan to spend money on 10% of my projects. So 90% of my projects, I don't need to spend a dime to get the very best results for the company. If this video has helped your understanding of lean manufacturing, be sure to click like and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any lightning problem solving tip. Also, if you guys don't mind helping me for two seconds, I'm doing a little survey in honor of spring. Does your company do any spring cleaning? Type yes or no in the comments below to participate in the survey. Thanks guys, you're the best. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.